Das Boot is a film that is very well received, so much so that it's number 80 out of every single film on IMDb, which is absolutely incredible. Nominated for six Oscars, I worried that it wouldn't live up to the hype and that I wouldn't like it as much as the film suggests I should. I can say with absolute confidence that it completely deserves the nominations that it got. It, for the Oscars, it was nominated for Best Director, um, Best Writing, Cinematography, Sound, Film Editing and Special Effects. It didn't win any, but that doesn't detract from the fact that this film is pretty incredible. So it was released originally in 1981, directed and written by Wolfgang Peterson, based on the novel by Lothar G. Buchheim. And this tells the story of a World War II German U-boat and the soldiers who are on board and what their life is like and, and how claustrophobic it is and how... You know, you get on each other's nerves and just all of the tensions and problems that arise when you're stuck in a boat with a bunch of people. Obviously, during the war, we have a lot of um, darkness in this. It's very gritty. It's quite dirty and quite terrifying. I mean, personally, for me, it's obviously not a horror, but it's a bit of a dramatic thriller. And for me personally, the idea of being on a U-boat is just terrifying in itself so if you don't like that kind of claustrophobic feeling then I think you'll definitely get a lot out of this film in terms of emotions and it follows the captain the lieutenant and, and the other men on board and all of the issues that they face during this journey now the film's two and a half hours long and I will say it takes a little bit of time to get going but because of the unique nature of the the location and the setting it's immediately atmospheric. So while it takes a little while for us to kind of, or at least for me, to develop any feelings for any characters, to decide who I prefer, to work out what I think might happen, the atmosphere is straight away very, very poignant. It will set the tone for the rest of the film and it does it so spectacularly. Having a film about war at sea is quite different, particularly for a film released in the 80s. Most war films are set on land. They're set on the front line or, you know, in the trenches. This one is obviously very different. And submarines, just as a concept, absolutely terrify me. Being underwater terrifies me. There's so much about this film that's just so intense. And because it's from a German perspective... It's particularly interesting. Um, I did quite occasionally forget that it was a World War II film and not just like, I don't know, the Navy or something. Because, of course, I'm used to war films being set on land. So it's a really fresh perspective and a really different angle and that's something I really admire. The pacing, once it gets going, is great. The atmosphere, as I said, from the first point is just ridiculous. It's so tense. Very well acted across the board. Brilliant performances. Very gritty. A whole host of emotions here. This film will take you on a true journey. In a way, it's a film that I don't want to watch again because that one experience was so powerful. I think if I ever watch it again, I'll have to do it at a point when I've kind of forgotten a lot of the film so that I can watch it almost from a fresh perspective, which I almost certainly will do at some point. Das Boot is a film that anybody can benefit from. IMDb says it has a rating of AA. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what the British certificate was. I'd guess maybe 15. I'm not really sure. But it, it's fabulous. It completely deserves all of the praise it gets. If you haven't seen it, thoroughly recommend it.